generally for admission to the program, the student has to have a minimum of 59 credit hours and there are b very specific guidelines for that. Um, and once they have those 59 credit hours out of the way, they can file an um, application and then depending on where they are in the process, we set them up for an open heart observation because we want them to see exactly what they're getting into because a lot of times it doesn't look the same on TV. So after they go through the um, putting in the application and have their materials reviewed, we set them up with an open heart and then we invite them for a personal interview and they spend an hour with the admissions committee. To be a perfusionist, it requires a lot of, you, you not only have to have um, book smarts and be able to look at theory, but you have to take that theory out of the book and apply it in a clinical setting, which means you have to take what you learn in the book and put it to work on a patient because you have their life in your hands. And so it requires a balance between book smarts, but you have to have a lot of hand-eye coordination. You have to be able to react quickly and land on your feet. Um, because a lot of times you get into emergency situations and you only have a couple of seconds to decide what you're going to do to help that patient and then you have to start doing it. Um, for future students, come in with a positive attitude, come in with an open mind, make sure this is what you want to do because there are easier ways to make money. So if you're in it only for money, we're going to have a problem because you're going to work really, really hard for that money. Um, and I think the more important thing is, you know, to realize the contribution you get to make because a lot of people go their entire lives working a job they can't stand. I don't have that problem at all.